yes, yes. Uh, turn to the other neighbor, you're looking so nice. You, you can appreciate their sweaters, you can appreciate their vitenges, the suities, whatever it is you like uh, in your neighbor. Just look at them, look at them one more time and smile. Uh, they're looking so nice today. Yeah. So we've come to the day, finally, eventually the day is here, the day we have been waiting for, for so long. We've been announcing, we've been announcing our annual Thanksgiving day, our annual Thanksgiving service is today. And so, I don't think we have any other agenda rather than just going before the Lord and thinking about His goodness. Thinking about the far He's brought us and so many things that He has done unto us. For you to be standing where you are standing today, the month of December, we can only say that it's been because of his hand. How many believe with me that it's been because of his hand that we are here today? Yes. We've been in a season of a lot of uncertainties. Two years. Been in the season of corona. Been in the season of living in, uh, in challenges. Living amidst so many things difficulties. Others have been in a, at, at risk of losing their jobs. Many people also had businesses, but they closed down. But I want to share with us a scripture from the book of Psalms 124. Media, please. Psalm 124. And we're going to be reading this psalm together. We're going to read from Psalm 1 up to 3. Then we we'll stop from there. Psalm 123. 124, sorry. We can read all together. If the Lord had not been on our side, let Israel sing. If the Lord had not been on our side when men attacked us, then they would have swallowed us alive in their burning anger against us. Chapter 4. Chapter 4. Then the waters would have engulfed us. The torrent would have swept us over. And that's the word of the Lord. How many believe that if the Lord had not been on our side, the enemies, let's name this enemy, whatever kind of difficulty that we have been facing, they would have swallowed us. How many believe that if it's not the Lord who had been on our side, we would have been swallowed alive? How many? By just believing and just thinking where the Lord has taken you from. If it hadn't been because of him, the enemy would have swallowed us alive. The raging waters would have swept, swept us. The, t the torrent would have swept, up, swept, up, swept, swept us away. But the Lord has been with us. And so, personally, I have a reason to thank the Lord. Personally, I have a reason to thank the Lord. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. And if at all you define blessings by the things we own or whatever it is that is material on this earth, or rather, I can say, like, I can put it like this, like, if our thankfulness if our thankfulness is based on whatever it is that we own on earth then I think we might be missing the point our thankfulness is not supposed to be based on whatever it is that we can see whatever it is that we can touch but the fact that we can breathe as other people are gasping for breath or other people are buying breath are buying life in hospitals we need to be so grateful and so I'd like to invite us just go before the Lord. Think about those moments. That, that particular time in the year where you have really struggled. Where you have really gone through a moment of hardship. And say, Lord, I'm here just to say thank you. It's a personal thing. It's a personal thing. For me, I'm just being used by the Lord just to lead you into this thanksgiving moment. In your own words, just go before the Lord and say, Lord, 
am here. Lord, I am here. If you hadn't been on my side, the enemies, the men who would have attacked us, the pandemic, a miss pandemic, Lord, we would have been swallowed alive. Just go before the Lord in your own words. In your own words, just say, Lord, I am here because you have been on my side. Lord, I am here because you have kept the waters from sweeping me away. The torrent, the raging torrent, Lord, you have kept them, Lord, from sweeping me away, from being engulfed by these waters. Just in your own words, wherever you are standing, he has woken you up this morning just to come here to say thank you. There's no any other business, there's no any other agenda other than just coming before the Lord and saying thank you. If at all there's nothing that you can see to be thankful about, just be thankful because of life. As other people are gasping, as other people are buying oxygen in hospitals. Oh Lord, I am grateful. Lord, I am grateful. Lord, I am grateful. 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 You say that, Lord, we are not supposed, Lord, to be thankful because of whatever it is that we can see, whatever it is that we can touch, Lord. But you say in your words that, Lord, the material things, Lord, you are, Lord, terming them as, as things, Lord, in Matthew 6, 20, 33, Lord. Lord, you're telling us that we should seek, Lord, the kingdom first. You are telling us that we should seek, Lord, and even righteousness, Lord. And all these other things, Lord, that are going, Lord, to be added unto us. And so, Lord, we are here, Lord, to say thank you. I'm here to say thank you. I'm here to say thank you. We have gathered here as St. Philip's, Lord, congregants, Lord, to say thank you. Receive, oh Lord, our gratitude, Lord, this morning. Receive it all, receive it all, wherever we are standing. The position that we are in right now, Lord, receive it all, Lord Jesus. Nasima Sante Kwa Mungu Wangu Nasima Sante Kwa Wema Wangu Kwa Mana Fadili Zako Zadumu
personally say Asante, 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 Ewe Mungu wangu. For the last time, Asante, Asante. a reason to say thank you unto him shout to the Lord with a voice of triumph and tell him Lord thank you for everything that you have done receive all the honor and receive all the glory come on you can do even much better than that he's our king of kings he's our Lord of Lords yes yes some shout in the house exalt him exalt him lift up his name shout to the Lord Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. How many are blessed to be in the presence of God this morning? Amen. We really want to thank God for today and always. Now this next song that we are about to sing, I believe it is so familiar to us. And it speaks of the love of God unto us, what God allowed his son Jesus Christ to do for us. So I just wanted to paint a picture for us, a small one. Um, the day God created man, Ali put man in the Garden of Eden. And in heaven, the enemy Ali disobeyed God. So he was thrown out. And when man was put in the Garden of Eden as well, because uh, we are the craftiness of the evil one, man sinned and God alimtoa in his presence. But then the love of God towards man, Haikuwaisha, God was looking for a way to reconcile us back to himself. And whatever it is that God did for us, it is by giving us his one uh, and, only son, and only son, sorry, his son Jesus Christ to be the ransom for that which we did. So, we are here to say Umeni toa gizani Nilipokuwa nimeshikwa mateka Amen So we were sinners as we were in bondage Then God aka decide kututoa out of that bondage And this is what the next verse says Ukani patuma ini Wakoni kajipita So it is through the, la through the Son of God that is Jesus Christ Because there's a hymn song that you say In Christ my hope is found So it is in Him that our hope is found Amen? Amen. Are we still together in that? Amen. And then For all that God did for us Surely This is my next question to us Sasa nitakupa nini? Do you think what God did for us, there's anything that we can equalize to what God did for us? Is there anything we can do to God? Is there anything? Hakuna ila moyoni. Sifa, sifa, nitakuimbia. Jamani wako mwana 
come to my dunia nikisana maana nipate uzima jamani shana kwa maana nipenda zaidi hivyo nishaelewa sifa nitakupa zaidi shana kwa maana nipenda zaidi hivyo nishaelewa sifa nitakupa zaidi na siwezi jizuia sema wako wema sio kama najigamba umenitenda mema na siwezi jizuia sema wako wema sio kama najigamba umenitenda mema umekuwa mwema kwangu Nitoa gizani nilipokuwa nimeshikwa mateka kanipa tumaini kwako nitajificha sasa nitakupa nini niwe sawa na roho tena hakuna ila moyoni sifata dunia ili kugarimu salama ni unifie hivyo inanibidi sifani kuibie Wema wako niseme Nawe na wengine wakujue Wate wangane na mi Na wase ishiri nange Na siwezi jizuia Sema wako wema Sio kama na jigamba Umenitenda mema Na siwezi jizuia Sema wako wema Sio kama na jigamba Oh, na siwezi jizuia Sema wako wema Sio kama na jigamba Umenitenda mema Oh, na siwezi jizuia Sema wako wema Sio kama na jigamba Umenitenda mema Eh, umekuwa wema Acha niringe Umekuwa wema kwa mu Mwema Hena siwezi jizuia Sema wako wema Sio kama na jigamba Umenitenda mema Na umekuwa mwema kwangu Wachane ime Umekuwa mwema kwangu That's what we need to tell to the Lord. Amen. Mshukuru ni bwana lemsin wakuwa ni mwema kwa mana kwa dili zake ni zami ni zami le. One more time in one voice. Say, Mshukuru ni bwana kwa ku. In harmonies, let's hear harmonies. Mshukuru ni bwana, 
kwa kuwa ni mwema kwa maana fadhili zake ni zambi one more time in harmony let's say eh mshukuru ni bwana kwa kuwa ni mwema kwa maana fadhili zake ni zambi Put your hands together for the Lord. Em shukuru ni bwana. Shukuru ni bwana. Kwa kuwa kwa kuwa Let 
Swallowed us alive, Lord. I miss, Lord, of, of floods, raging waters, Lord. Torrents, Lord, that would have swept us. Uh, waters that would have engulfed us, Lord. You have been there. You have watched over us, Lord. You have, Lord, embraced us, Lord. You have, Lord, uh, put us closer to you, Lord. Ensure that, Lord, we are safe. And, Lord, 
you are just gathered here to say thank you nothing else lord so receive it all lord receive it all anything that could act as a hindrance lord for our thanksgiving not coming into your presence lord check into our hearts right now and lord continue molding us lord even as you are going to be hearing your word even to the entire service everything lord every activity lord that is going to take place in this service lord let it be a worship unto you let it be a thanksgiving unto you even in Jesus' name this morning. So receive it, O oh Lord. Receive all the honor. Also for those, Lord, that are watching us online, Lord. Visit them, Lord, in their places where they are watching us from. And for the ones, Lord, that we have come to represent here, Lord, let our sacrifice and our worship, Lord, be lifted, Lord, unto you, Lord, on their behalf. So we thank you and we adore your name for it is in Jesus' name we have praise and we have worship. And everyone say amen. Amen. God is good and all the time. Just turn to a neighbor, Mambia, today is a Thanksgiving Sunday. Just turn to one or two neighbors, Mambia. This is a Thanksgiving Sunday. Those who are watching us online, learn in Thanksgiving Sunday. The book of Deuteronomy that when you have eaten, when God has been blessed, don't forget to give thanks. So, God has been faithful to us from January till now. So, if you don't have a basha at Thanksgiving, the ashes are around. You can name Konako, Akupati Basha. We are going to give thanksgiving the envelopes. Just lift up your hand wherever you are, and you're going to be blessed so much. So ashes can help us. They can be given the thanksgiving envelopes. I just want to invite the first and the second reading consecutively, and then the Lord is going to bless us as we continue. Amen. The first and the second reading. Praise God, church. Kindly let us stand for the psalm reading. The psalm of the day is Psalm 50. Psalm 50, verse 1 to 6. The mighty one, God the Lord, speak, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to where it sets. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes and will not be silent. Our fire devours before him, and around him a tempest rages. He summons the heavens above and the earth, that he may judge his people. Gather to me this consecrated people who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens proclaim his righteousness, for he is a God of justice. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. At what is in the beginning, so it's now, and ever shall be. Amen. Praise God. Praise God again. Our first reading comes from the book of Psalms 35, from verse 1 to 10. Contend, O Lord, with those who contend with me. Fight against, fight against those who fight against me. Take up shield and buckler. Arise and come to, fight to my aid. Brandish spear and javelin against those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. May those who seek my life be disgraced and put to shame. May those who plot my ruin be turned back to dismay. May they be like chaff before the wind with the angel of the Lord driving them away. May their path be dark and slippery with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. Since they hid their net for me without cause and without cause dug a pit for me. May ruin overtake them by surprise. May the net they hid entangle them. May they fall into the pit to their ruin. Verse 9. Then my soul will rejoice in the Lord and delight in his salvation. My whole being will exclaim, 
who is like you, O Lord. You rescue, the, you rescue the poor from those too strong for them, the poor and needy from those who rob them. That's the word of God. Praise God. Praise God again. Our second reading is taken from the book of Luke 17, 11 to 19. Luke chapter 17, 11 to 19, and it reads, Now, on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into the village, ten men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Were none found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, Rise and go. Your faith has made you well. That is the end of our second reading. Let's just appreciate them. Emma, Vic, Pamodza, and Sarah. Just quickly, I just want to take us through the notices, then we go to the next session of the Ministry of the Word. Uh, I don't know if we have any visitor who's worshipping with us for the first time. Please. Kuna mtu na abudu na sisi kwa mara ya kwanza. Sisi ni wenyeji, sindo? Hatu tutipigi makofi basi. It's a blessed Sunday. Indeed, it's a Thanksgiving Sunday. This is a command from the Lord. And today is a Thanksgiving Sunday, and I know the Lord is going to bless us so much. I just want to remind you that today in the afternoon from 2, kutakuwa na concert, a Thanksgiving concert. The theme is in First Chronicles chapter number 16, from verse number 5 to 9. Bwana sifiwe, iko kwa screen zetu mnaza ziona. Na tunamba tukujisisi water, just to give thanks to God. Just a Thanksgiving concert. Just come expecting from the Lord. When you give thanks to God, Anafungo tu binguni ya zidu kubariki zaidi. Na msisa au, sanane kuna mlo, by the way. By the kuna food, we are going to fellowship here after the last service. That is the main service. After the main service, so we can just stick around. Tunza mingo likidogo hapa, na we can have a meal together as we wait for the concert. Uh, we are being reminded that the classes for confirmation are ongoing uh, from two. And uh, there will be a play. I don't know if Mary is around. Mary, ni mwaza wetu na wakona play ni tuatabu. Itakuwa National Theatre from 2 p.m. Tunabwa charges ni 1K for single and 1,500 for couple. That number Mary atakuwa na act. So please, you can support her. And uh, last but not least, we are being reminded that the East African Revival will be here next Saturday. This coming Saturday, that will be the 18th of December. And they are having... It's a youth seminar. Thank you, Mchungaji. A youth seminar for the youths at number six water to Kuje from, from nine in the morning to Kuje Apa Sisi water. It's a seminar for us, and they have chosen to be in St. Philip, so they are being re reminding us that we should come here. It is free of charge, by the way. Let us just come and just give thanks to God and have an experience. Last but not least, I know most of us after next Sunday, Takwat Nendosha, go crazy. So please make sure, wala kuna wazazi, na wala kuna guardian, we have calendars for Mother's Union, we have calendars for Kama. Na zinatusa umbili peke yake, only for 200. Please make sure just take a calendar there. Upeleke mzazi, na kama una calendar kwa hao, we have one. Imagine ukona calendar, ikona picha ya bishop, ikona picha ya bishop, wana sifiwe, sini baraka sana. So please make sure you take note of that, and the Lord is going to bless us so much. I want to invite the worship team. Even as they are coming, I know the Lord is going to bless us so much. Just expect from the Lord. One as if you Just expect from the Lord. Tell your neighbor, expect from the Lord. Turn to another neighbor, man. Expect from the Lord. Mean expect from the Lord. Just expect from the Lord. Amen. 
God has been faithful, my friends. Imagine to lanza January to look at to kuji church TV to look at to make all restrictions za corona. But God has been faithful. Bwana I know you have something to thank the Lord. You may be on our feet. Let us all rise together as you worship the Lord, as you prepare to listen to the word of the Lord. You have something to thank the Lord. To tell your neighbor, I have something to thank the Lord. Nataka tu tell your neighbor, I have something to thank the Lord. Turn to another day, Bwana I have something to thank the Lord. God has been on the biashara yangu kainuka. Wengine wamepata job. Wengine God has been feed without job. Bwana sifiwe. Turn to another neighbor and say God and this is faithful. Mwambie God is faithful and they have something to thank him for. Amen.
Father, we give you all the praise, oh God. We come with our hearts, oh God, full of thanksgiving, Lord. For the things, oh God, that you've done in our lives, oh Father. Oh God, we don't have anything to pay you, oh God. Just to say thank you, oh God. You're so wonderful to us, oh God. You've been so wonderful to us, oh God. And you're still wonderful to us, oh God. Thank you for everything that you are doing in our lives, oh Father. Thank you for all that this year, Jehovah Father, that we've been with us, oh God. Indeed, oh God, you've been so faithful unto us, oh God. We give you praise, we worship you, oh God. Receive all the praise, receive all the adoration. In Jesus' name we pray. This is how it feels. <laughs> so those who are watching online, I'm glad that you've been able to join us uh, for this day. Uh, the day that we are having a moment at St. Philip's Jericho just to thank God. And uh, as I said last Sunday, I'm not going to teach today. I just want us to uh, get in depth into prayer. And the prayers would be in two sets. One, in matters, thanksgiving, that I'm going to explain just a little while. And then the others, as a conclusion of the series that we've been doing, I really want us to take God's word back to him. The best way to make a prayer that is effective a prayer that gives results is a prayer that is based on the word of God. And so we've learned uh, quite a lot, I think for the last uh, four or five Sundays, if I'm not wrong, on how we actually need to give to God for his work and also to others. And there are several promises that God made. Last Sunday when I was talking about the covenantal giving. And so I was really getting... Uh, pushed and challenged in my heart that if one of the principles we studied was that giving is proportionate, you give according to that which you have. But then what happens then if somebody does not have? Does it imply that that person then need not to give? Of course not. That person needs to persuade God on the basis of his word so that God would be able to give that opportunity. Amen. So today, I just want us to have a time to pray for those of us without jobs, those of us who are having these business ideas, you know, majority business ideas and as you go to ground. They are so good, you explain to someone, but this thing is not realized, is not actualized. We want to pray that God is going to provide opportunities, that that business idea would no longer remain an idea. It would become a reality. Amen? We, we want to seek God because we are ready to give for his work. We are ready to uh, give in his, for his glory. But then we want something to give. And he's the one that blesses the work of our hands. We want God those of us that are already working, those of us that are already in businesses, you know, there are people that goes to work in the morning. Because the working environment is just toxic. It is just hectic. You know? and, and so we just want to pray to God that God is going to give you peace in that place that God is going to sustain you, that God is going to give you victory. We want to enjoy and have sources of income that we can be proud about. So there's one prayer that we are going to make at this place for God to open doors and for God to sustain those of us that are already in these either institutions or self-employed or that. And we're also going to have a moment 
to pray for our thanksgiving. And just before I finish this, I will be receiving your thanksgivings. And one thing that we noticed is that if you give a thanksgiving, you are honoring God. To honor is to acknowledge the efforts of God. To show that you are aware that it has taken God for you to be wherever you are. This gives you an opportunity to reflect. You start from the 1st of January or even from the day that you were born, coming all through to date, looking at the battles that you overcome, looking at the situations that you've passed through and you never knew that you would even stand in that kind of a situation. You know, God does not just take you through. God also sustains you within a circumstance. That is what he did to uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when they were thrown into the fiery furnace. He was with them in that fire. And so there are fires that you've been you're experiencing this year and you're like in that fire and you're not burning. You're not getting consumed. To honor is giving you an opportunity to start reflecting. What are these uh, experiences? What are these situations that God has been able to work with me? And then once you look at that, you do nothing else but to honor God. When you give thanksgiving, that is what God receives and honor. My daughter, my son, acknowledges that I am the one that I've sustained him or her. He says also that he prepares the way for salvation. We don't just want to honor God because life does not end today. We still have a life tomorrow and we need this God to show us his salvation. So as you'll be bringing your thanksgiving, thanksgiving gives you an opportunity and opens up your mind and invokes the power of God so that he may show you his salvation. So as you're bringing it, I would want you to think through what are the areas of your life that you need God to save you from? What are the things in your life that you say, like, God, if you don't intervene here, then I'm done. This one, no one can help me out. Not that anchor of mine, not that auntie of mine, not that pastor, not that friend. They cannot do anything. It's only you that can show me the salvation. You know, the end of 2021 is not the end of the world. It simply marks the beginning of 2022. We are not aware of what it holds for us. We can tell God that I want to see your salvation in the year 2022. You know, whichever areas, and I would want you to be very specific and very particular. Last Sunday I said that we do not want to give God anything for free, having the understanding that he has attached a promise to giving, yeah? We are not giving in order to be rewarded. We are giving because we know who he is. But by the virtue that God has attached a promise, we don't want to let that promise go. And the promise that he says about thanksgiving is that he is going to show us his salvation. Where do you need that salvation? Just have a meeting with yourself. Which areas of your life do you need that salvation? Which areas are stagnated and you're saying that, God, I can't continue like this. I want you to get me out of this. You know, he says, the text that we just read, the, the, the tenth leper that went to thank uh, Jesus after healing. You know, there is something that he had that the other nine did not have. The other nine were healed. Yeah. For this other one, apart from his sins being forgiven, Apart from being healed from leprosy, Jesus said that your faith has made you well. Thanksgiving gives you the opportunity to be well. I don't know that which is not well in your life. And today you are saying that God, as I go giving this sacrifice of thanksgiving, I want my life to be well. I want my spiritual being to be well. I want my social life to be, to be well. You know, I want to live a life that somebody would look at and consider it well in every aspect of our lives. Thanksgiving gives you peace. I loved it in Philippians when he says that do not be anxious about anything, but in everything with thanksgiving and petition makes your request known to God. And then this is what he says, and the peace of God which surpasses man's understanding. Paul attaches petition prayer and thanksgiving with the peace. I don't know whether you've gotten to that moment in your life that you just need peace. Minatakatu, Amani. Squeeze it to Naisema, just minding your own business. 
No, I want us to push it beyond minding your own business that God would give you peace. I want us to be very particular as we'll be doing this. That as we are bringing in this thanksgiving, God promises that he's going to make me well. Mention those areas that you want God to make you well. God promises that he's going to give you peace. Easy to stress, depression. You know, let these pressures of the world be there, but you're so much peaceful in it because there is a peace that surpasses human understanding. Let God prepare a way to show you his salvation. I'm not sure of these ways in your life. I know my, the ways that I want God to show me salvation. I know areas that I want him to make me well. I'm going to speak to him about that. Also, talk to him about that. And then I'll be winding up with the prayers for our working places that God would be able to open doors and opportunities for us. I just want us to rise on our feet. I believe all, each of us, you already have your thanksgiving envelope. Those who are not able to pick, you can just, I'm taking thanksgiving, not offer tree, not tithe. It's just thanksgiving that I want to take. And I would request that that basket is brought to me here. And please, as you bring this, on the basis of the points that I've said, thank you, Jesus. Can you come and just lead me in that song that is being played? God saying that the far we've come it has taken his hands thank you Jesus then I'm going to present this sacrifice to God and we claim the promises that he said that we want to see his salvation we want him to make us well we want his peace and so as that song is done with your thanksgiving gift holding it just bring it here, making those claims, the area, speak over it, speak over that envelope. This is an act of faith. This is an act of faith.
honoring him. Remember the victories that he has given to you. Tell him thank you. Remember the sustenance that is given to you. Tell him thank you. Remember the protection. Remember his favor. Remember his grace. That even while you are still sinners, he sent his son to come and die for us. When we do not have value, he gave us value. When we are considered and dehumanized, he respected our humanity. Just reflect back and tell God, thank you. Open up your mouth and honor him. Open up your mouth and honor the Lord. Tell him thank you for walking with you. Tell him thank you for being your protector. Tell him thank you for sustaining your health. That he has given you life to this point. We've passed through a hard moment as a nation. In your family there are things you look back and see. Just open your mouth and tell him thank you. Because to thank him is to honor him. Honor the name of the Lord. Tell him that you are aware that it has taken his hand to walk together with you this far. Tell him that you are aware that it has taken his hand to give you those friends. That it has taken his hand to sustain you in that family. Tell the Lord that you are aware of his favor. That you are aware of his blessing. Oh, thank him in all circumstances. It has been tough. It has not been easy. But God has kept you. God has walked together with you. Honor the name of the Lord. Him that offers the sacrifice of thanksgiving. Honor the Lord. Give him the honor that he deserves. Give him the honor that he deserves. He is the Lord God Almighty. He is our maker. He is our sustainer. We attain our livelihood from him. Just tell him thank you. Holy Ghost will bless you. Thank you, O Rima Kanta. Rigo Kola Sheri Gariba Kantere Bobo. O Rima Kantere Rebo Kala Sekere Baba. If you can express yourself in the Holy Ghost, oh, feel free to do it. With the travails that we cannot understand, let us hit the heavens with our thanksgiving. O Rima Kanto Rabo Kola Sheri Ga. Rigo Kola Toro Robo Kala Sekere Bobo. Oh Lord, Ziba Kandere Rebu, Rabo Kola Sheri Gariba Kantekere Baba. Holy Ghost, we bless you. Holy Ghost, we honor you. Holy Ghost, we adore your name. Oh yes, you are doing it. Riba Kandere Rebu Kola Sekere Baba. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah. I want you to claim the salvation of God. Claim the Lord's salvation. For he says if you offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, you honor him and he will show you his salvation. May the Lord save you from stagnation. Ask the Lord to save you from sicknesses. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, we need your salvation. May you show us thy salvation, Lord. Oh, spiritual salvation, economic salvation, social salvation. Lord God Almighty, may you intervene. Oh, show us thy salvation. We do not want to be enslaved. Oh, claim the salvation of the Lord. If you offer thanksgiving, the Lord saves. The Lord shows you his salvation. Claim that salvation. Claim that salvation. Claim that salvation. Claim that salvation. From whatever it is, mention it by name. Mention it by name. If it is sinfulness, talk to God about it. If it is stagnation, claim it. Because today, the sacrifice of thanksgiving is opening doors in the name of Jesus. Claim that salvation in the name of Jesus. Claim that salvation in the name of Jesus. Claim it for your children. Claim it for your siblings. Claim it for your parents. Claim it, claim it, claim it. Because the Lord has promised, He is not a man to lie. Oh, Rabo Kola Doro Robo. Rabo Baba 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 Claim that salvation. Oh, claim it. Claim it, claim it, claim it. In the name of Jesus. God has promised that He shall show us His salvation. Oh, 
Lord, we want to see thy salvation. We rabble call and tologo. Holy God, save your people. Holy God, save your people. Holy God, just save your people, Lord. Riva Kandere Rogo. From the struggles, O oh God. From the burdens, Jehovah. We ask that you may save. Holy God, just move around. Holy Spirit, save us, Lord. Save us from the slavery of sin. Save us from the slavery of stagnation. Save us from the slavery of curses. Save us, Lord. Oh, claim that salvation in the name of Jesus. Claim that salvation in the name of Jesus. It is attached to your sacrifice of thanksgiving. Oh, riba kandororobo. Rabo bobo 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 bo riba kanda. Rebo kola sheri galiba kanderebo. Claim that salvation in the name of Jesus. Oh, claim it in the name of Jesus. 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 Oh, Rabo Kola Sheriga Riba Kandere Baba. want you to pray that the Lord is going to make you well. Amen. If we offer thanksgiving, He makes us well. Make us well. Let the Lord make you well at your working place. Let the Lord make you well in your spiritual being. Let the Lord make your family well. If you have physical sicknesses, tell Him that God, I want you to make me well. Every burden in your heart, tell God to make you well. Wellness involves fruitfulness. Wellness involves productivity. Tell the Lord that you want to be fruitful. You do not want to toil in vain. Tell him to make you well. He made a leper well after a thanksgiving. And after this thanksgiving, the Lord is making you well. The Lord is making you well. Oh Lord, make us well. Oh God, make us well. Oh Lord, make us well. Oh Riba Kandororobo, Rabo Kola Sheriga Riba Kande. Daddy, I want to be well. Yes, Lord, I want to be well. I want to be well in my intimacy with you. I want to be well, oh God, in my economic life. I want to be well, oh great I am, in my spiritual life. I just want to be well. Lord, I want to be well. Oh Riba Kanderebo. Claim wellness, claim wellness, claim wellness in your psychological mind. Claim that you want to be well. Oh, Ribo Kola, Ribo Kola, She, Ribo Kokala. The Lord is making us well. Claim wellness in your mind. Claim wellness in your physical being. Claim wellness in your emotional being. Claim wellness in your spiritual being. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we want to be well. Oh, Lord, make us well. Lord, God, make us well. Oh, Riva Kandoro Robo Koka. Oh, Rabo, 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 Rabo Ka. Rima Kando Robo Kola Sheriga. Ribo Koka La Tekere Bobo. Riva Kando Robo Bobo. Ribo Koka La Sheke Baba. Oh, speak wellness to your children that they shall never rebel. Your children will not rebel. They are going to be well. In your family, you shall be well. In your work with God, you will be well. In St. Philip, we are going to be well. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, God is making us well. I feel Him making somebody well. From the hospital bed, the power are moving beyond the boundaries of this church. They are going beyond the powers of God that makes us well are going to our rural homes. They are touching our relatives in the hospital. The Lord is making them well. They are being made well. You are being made well in the name of the Lord. When we tell him thank you, he makes us well. And today, it is that day that we claim wellness in totality. In the name of Jesus, 
Holy Ghost, we want to be well. Holy Spirit, make us well. We want to be well in the name of Jesus. Thank you, gracious Lord. Thank you, Daddy. that surpasses all understanding shall be upon us. Now that we've told God thank you, not only by our mouth, but by even a sacrifice of thanksgiving, we want to be peaceful. Just tell God that even though we are living in an era of depression and stress, we shall experience the, the peace of God, that the situations around us contributes to stress, but the Lord is going to give us peace. We ask peace in the name of the Lord. Father, the peace that is beyond human understanding. The peace that is beyond human understanding. The peace that the world cannot give. The peace that wealth cannot give. The peace that power cannot give. The peace that popularity cannot give. That peace that comes from God. It is the peace that we claim upon each and every one of us. Lord, give us your peace. Give us your peace. Give us your peace. Give us your peace, O oh God. Give us your peace, O oh Daddy. In the name of Jesus. Give us your peace. Lord, give us your peace. May we experience your peace at home. May we experience your peace at work. May we experience your peace in church. May we experience your peace in the neighborhood. That, that neighbor that gives us trouble. May we experience your peace. Lord God Almighty, the situations that buckle us, the situations that brings us down, may you give us peace, O oh God. May you give us peace, Jehovah. Lord, anything that disturbs us, O oh God, remove it. We want your peace. We want your peace in the fire. We want your peace in this season. We want your peace in the next season. We want your peace in and out of season. Lord, we want your peace. When it's raining, we need your peace. When it's raining, Lord, we need your peace. During the drought, we need your peace. When we are happy, we need your peace. When we are sad, we need peace. We speak peace, peace, peace. The peace of God that is above all understanding. Holy God, may your peace reign. May your peace reign, O oh God. May your peace reign, Jehovah. May your peace reign, O oh Lord. May your peace reign. 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 May your peace reign in the name of Jesus. Oh, Robo Colanda. Riba Baba 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 Baba. Robo Colando Robo Cocala. Oh, Rabo Cocala Shekere Bobo. Oh, Rabo Condo Robo Cola Shekere Baba. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 
one knew that he could fight Goliath. His people looked at him as a young boy. He didn't have the experience in war. Goliath looked at it as an insult. Because David did not have anything to show that he could fight and win a battle. He couldn't even fight with the attire that he was given by his soul. But at least he had God. I'm speaking to you that you've been insulted. You see no worth in who you are. You've been told that you show no value and you give no value. In fact, life can go on without your involvement. This has crushed you. It has crushed you. And today, the Lord has heard your cry. You might not have anything, but you have him. In fact, the song that we've sung, the Spirit of the Lord directed it to you. That you just need a room for you and God. No one matters to you because everyone doesn't see you to be serious with this life. Thank you. I see God just giving us peace. God just making us well. In fact, there are a lot of social struggles. Issues to do with marriages. And sometimes you even wonder, will I marry myself? The thanksgiving prayers, the sacrifice of thanksgivings that you've offered today is marking an about turn in your life. That is what I hear the Lord speaking in my life. Thank you, Jesus. Don't grow weary. You have God with you. The two of you are strong enough. The two of you are strong enough. Don't wear out. I really don't know the person that I'm telling this to. But please don't grow weary. Don't do anything that would harm your life. It is true that you've, made, you've been made to feel worthless. It is true that it has depressed you so much. But today the Lord is making you well. Today God is making you well. He is giving you peace. In fact, if they continue insulting, the insult will not cause you the pain that they've been causing you before. Because that peace is beyond human understanding. Thank you, gracious and everlasting Father.
presence of the Lord is intense in this place. People, scoop that which your faith allows you to. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As a family, today we are celebrating seventh year, the seventh anniversary. And we really want to say thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hi. Praise God. We are grateful to God for the Father that He has brought us for keeping and sustaining us and even blessing us with children. We are grateful. Gracious and everlasting Father, we thank you for this beloved Georges, his wife and their children. Almighty Father, they are coming here to honor you and to acknowledge that you've walked with them through a period of seven years since they got married. You've blessed them, Lord, with these two children. And Father, you've granted them opportunities to work for you even as they work for this nation. Almighty Father, they are standing here is one to acknowledge your doing in their lives. This could have not been done by any other person or any other thing, but it has been done by thee, O oh God. Gracious Redeemer, may you receive the honor that this family offers to you. And Father, even as they're believing you for many more years ahead of them, as they're believing you, Jehovah God, that you may prosper them and also their children. As they're believing you, Jehovah God, that you may make them even be more intimate with one another and also with you, O oh God. Father, may you show them thy ways. May you show them thy wonders. Lord, may they stand to testify of your goodness in this land, O oh Jehovah God. May they experience peace in their marriage, O oh Jehovah. Lord, may you grant them wisdom to bring up their children in thy ways, O oh great I am. Father in heaven, it is in our prayer, Jehovah God, that you shall make them well. You shall give them the strength and the power to overcome every kind of struggle in their lives, O oh God. I also make a declaration that this sacrifice of thanksgiving that they are offering to you, may it be a seed, Jehovah God, that will germinate to the very specific areas of needs in their hearts. That, 
Father in heaven, their lips would always be full of songs of praises and thanksgiving. I dedicate them to you, even as I release them with your blessings. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, I want to pray with those who are here, and I will just want you to stand. You do not have any job or any source of income. And you're believing God that he's going to open doors. In your heart, you're so desperate to be giving for him. And as we are doing the series, you really want to be a blessing. You really want to touch the heart of God with your resources. But you have limitations. Today, I just want us to pray and believe God that is going to open ways for you. So you are here. You are not in any kind of unemployment or do not have any source of income. I just want you to stand. You're having a business idea that has not been actualized and it's just in your mind. I also want you to stand because we want to believe God for this. We cannot give that which we do not have. He cannot bless that work which is not there. It is his words that say so. And you can scoop as much as your faith can allow you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because of these, your servants that are standing, and probably some could be watching online. Father, in their hearts, O oh Lord, they desire to give for your work. They desire to be a blessing for their friends, for their relatives. They desire to have an earning that would also enable them to take care of themselves, O oh gracious Savior. Father, in the name of Jesus, they've experienced that struggle for quite a long time. Under this anointing of prayer and your presence that is intense in this place. Father, I pray, O oh God, that you may create opportunities for these, your servants, in the name of Jesus. Lord, may you set open doors before them, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. They know the value of your blessings that comes through their work. May you give them work to do, O oh God, so that they experience your blessings. That relates to that avenue, O oh Jehovah God. Father, in the name of Jesus, many of them might have applied several jobs and nothing seems to come out of it. Under this anointing of prayer, any kind of a past that has been eating up their blessings, any evil hands, anything, Lord, that has been obstructing them from attaining your, their potential and making use of the skills and the knowledge that you enable them to acquire, to earn, and to benefit them, Lord. I pray, Jehovah Father, releasing the fire of the Holy Spirit to consume any evil that has been stagnating your people, to consume any hand that has been holding their blessings. Lord, anyone that has been sitting on their papers, Lord God Almighty, we pray that they shall be, uh, be, be, be sent away by the power of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, I pray that as they are going to start making application on a fresh page today, your favor shall follow them. And Lord, they've given Jehovah, even though they struggle to get, Lord, but that little that they had, they've given it Jehovah. And you say that when we give, not by coercion, cheerfully, then you are showing us your love. Your love comes with a package of favor. And I speak that favor upon them, O oh God, that the doors they are going to knock shall be opened unto them. Lord, the areas that they are going to seek uh, employment, Jehovah, Lord, you shall open doors for them. And I would want them, Lord, to come and stand with a testimony in the same altar upon which you are releasing your blessings upon them to testify that indeed you are faithful, O oh God. And those of them, Jehovah Father, that have business ideas, Lord, very well calculated, very well organized ideas, oh God, but they lack capital. They lack the correct connections, oh Lord. Father, they lack the good networking that would help them actualize these businesses. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your provision, oh God. Open financial doors for these businesses to start. Or oh, bring in the, the divine connection that they would meet the right people, oh God. If these people are still far away, 
may you start bringing them back to Kenya, oh God, or even letting your people to go to wherever they are, because they just have to meet, oh gracious Lord, for the breakthrough of your servants, almighty Father, just start reorganizing offices, start reorganizing institutions, oh God, so that your people would meet the right people, Jehovah Father, organize even conferences or even fellowships, that they find themselves in the fellowships where they are going to meet the right people, Jehovah Father, that will take them to their next level, oh God. No idea is going to remain in their minds. Every idea, Lord, that is represented amongst them that are standing is going to be made a reality in the precious name of Jesus. Father, I bless you because you are doing it, oh God. Almighty Father, may you open doors for these, your servants, and let them stand to testify of your greatness. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Finally, I want to pray with those that are already working, those that are already in businesses. And we, we, we just want to pray for God's sustenance. And if you desire even promotions, you desire more blessings in your areas of work, you are the one who knows what you want in relation to the place that you are working. You can also just stand. I just want to make a prayer. Mine would be a bit general, but you know the specifics. Speak to God about it. Speak to God and trust your work before the Lord and trust that business and trust that farmland and trust it to the Lord that it, it shall never stagnate that it shall be fruitful Father in the name of Jesus I thank you because of these your servants that have stood each of them Lord you've opened doors for them in different institutions and companies Almighty God I speak your favor upon them oh God it is in these institutions that they are to come and give for your work to give to the needy to do any work Jehovah Father that would help somebody oh God and Father any time they do this I speak Lord that your blessings is going to follow them oh Jehovah that Lord you shall grant them favor with their colleagues oh God and their bosses Jehovah Father that Lord they shall be elevated oh God that they shall be productive in their working places Jehovah that they shall be fruitful oh God in their businesses they shall gain oh God they shall make profits Father none of them is going to toil in vain that when they get up in the morning going to work and coming back in the evening they shall see the value of their effort they shall see the fruitfulness of their work oh God they will never toil in vain in the name of Jesus. Almighty Father, there could be those that are in these institutions, Lord, but they are not peaceful. They really desire your peace, O oh God. Father, the work politics is really straining them. Father, may you intervene in their situation, O oh God. Some could be already working, but they are desiring and believing you, even for better institutions where they can serve you, where they would feel that their potential is put into proper use. Almighty Father, may you remember them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. That they're in heaven, I release your favor, I release your blessings upon these servants, Jehovah. May you sustain them in their working places to them, for them that are feeling peaceful and are feeling comfortable, Lord. May you sustain them, Jehovah, Father. Those that are, are feeling disrupted, Lord, may you just grant them your peace or even get them even to better places that they would feel peaceful as they work for you and even work for this nation, O gracious Savior, that you're in heaven. I surround each and every one of them by the hedge of the fire of the Holy Spirit, that no politics is going to interfere with their positions, that Lord, anyone that has planned something against them just to make them lose their jobs, just to make them be hated by others. Father, such evils are not going to prosper in their lives in the name of Jesus. For your word says that no weapon that is fashioned against us is going to prosper. And therefore, Lord, no weapon of the dark one, no weapon of the evil people, wicked people in the working places, oh God. Those that uses the powers of witchcraft, Lord, those powers are not going to succeed in the lives of your people because your fire is going to consume them on arrival. Lord, they shall be, they, they shall see your people prospering in their positions and operating under favor, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, may you grant them victory over every battle, over every challenge at their working places, oh God. Those that are in business, may you give them connections, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. May you give them clients, Jehovah. May you open doors and opportunities, oh God. 
great I am. Father, I bless your name and I honor you because behold, you are doing something new in the lives of your people. Gracious and everlasting Father, even as we offer this sacrifice of thanksgiving to you, Lord, that there in heaven our prayer is that it be a sweet aroma that gets into your kingdom and as we raise it and ra raise an altar upon each and every one of us that like this day marks a complete about turn towards prosperity, towards success as far as our economic life is concerned, spiritual and social life, oh God, that we shall experience your grace in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Uh, kindly ushers wait on us even as we give our offering. Let's rise on our feet. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah, sorry, today we've uh, extended with uh, close to 30 minutes, uh, though I really felt uh, I've not prayed myself up. <laughs> I, I wish we had more time to pray. But of course, God, by his favor, has given us more time in the afternoon. That is from two up to around five, six. <laughs> from two up to six. We are going to have time to pray. Now, when we were doing that, I could really feel a heavy burden in the hearts of people. It's something that happened to me, Kitambo Sana, where you can feel the pain. And in fact, I was in tears here. You could feel the pain that was represented, the struggles that is there. And there is a great secret about Thanksgiving. I might not talk about that now, but I promise one time I will talk about it. Who knows, maybe it could be this afternoon. So please, don't miss this afternoon. Is that okay? Don't miss this afternoon. We talk at Winjo Chape Maroundi Kidogo. Sasaba Ibu Wingia Ukule. And then Wingia Apandane. Okay? Yeah, we are going to have a great moment. Because, let me just stop it. Okay, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the moment we've had. Lord, your faithfulness is beyond measure. The cries of our hearts, O oh God, and the thanksgiving sacrifice that we've offered. Father, may it be a pleasure to you that you may be able to do your part on our lives because of your faithfulness. Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, even for the greater experience that we are going to have this afternoon. May you put it in our hearts so that we can all come and just sink into your presence, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for that which we've, we've offered is thanksgiving, offer tree, and our tithes. Father, we pray that you may bless the work of our hands and open doors for those who do not have any. And we pray, Lord, that whichever areas of need that all these resources are aimed at. May they be seeds that will germinate, O oh God, to give us your victory. And I'll pray that the peace of God which surpasses man's understanding keep your souls and minds in the knowledge and love of God the Father and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessings of God Almighty, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit to be with you and remain among you always. Amen. 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 So as you go, beloved, go in peace to love and to serve the Lord in the Amen. name of Christ. Amen. Help me tell your neighbor, Tafadali, don't miss in the afternoon. Staki unikasirikie nikizungumzia matendo ya buwana. When you'll be telling them about the blessings of God at Akwangalia na So, blessed day.